So I have my blank page here and I'm just going to click on my layout tool and in here there's a couple of things you can do. One is you can do a full page layout of your site um, just by clicking on some of these different examples. Um, you're able to choose what you'd like to put into your site. Or what you can do is click on the second tab, which is block layout. Maybe there's just one or two of these items that you'd like to use. Um, all of these pictures you can change at will. Um, so if I wanted to just have this block layout for the top, I could certainly do that. Or I can just go into full page layout. Um, and let me just choose the second one. And then when I've chosen, I just click Submit, and then I'm able to put my information in there. Now again, if you don't like what you see, maybe you're not crazy about it, you can click on Source, and you can delete the whole smash if you want to, which I do because I really didn't like how it looked, to be honest with you. So um, you just go in here and just click and drag on the individual pieces. Um, I just love the fact I can go in here and do my own source code. If you're handy with HTML coding or maybe you're doing a Dreamweaver or something like that, you can certainly put your own code in here, which is great. Um, I didn't have the talent for that or the time to do that, so I just decided I was just going to use this layout tool and um, build my website that way. It was just a lot easier on me. Um, and what I like is that you can go in, if you make a mistake, it's not a big deal. You can just go in and choose again and hit submit. And you can see you've got your pictures here. I can even go in and I can change the size of these pictures too. If I wanted to make her bigger, I just click and drag um, on the corners and I'm able to do that. Um, and as far as putting text in here, I can just uh, click this back button, my backspace button, and I can just start typing in here um, what exactly I want to say. And then I would just delete anything there that um, doesn't make sense or just type over it. The other thing that you can do is I like to use this tool, Show Hide, and it tells me where all my tables are. I think the purple is going to be kind of dark, so I'd like to kind of lighten up some of my tables. So I've put my cursor in the upper corner and I'm going to right click. I've got to get into my table, I guess, there, or that's my picture. This can be one of the trickier parts, finding your table. And then when I click on my table and I right click on my mouse, then I'm able to see um, my table properties. And that's what I want to click on is my table properties. Now, when you create a table, they consist of rows, cells, and columns. Um, you're going to see up here, if I want to select a cell, which I do because I want to change the color of that cell, you can see that it lights up. Once I have it lit, then I can click on Options. I could even put a background image um, here if I really wanted to. I might have a really cool image. I'm not going to do that. I just want to keep it kind of easy here. So I'm going to choose uh, maybe a really light color. Um, maybe not too bright. I might want to go with like a, an off gray or something like that. And then I just hit Apply to see how it's all going to sugar off. Now, of course, I'm going to have to go in here and change my font color too, okay, because the font isn't going to show up. I've highlighted it. I just go in, I click on my font, and maybe I'm going to choose um, ba -ba -ba, maybe a dark purple, maybe something a little darker than that. Just going to mess around with this a little bit, but you get the idea. If I go in here and I just choose these different colors, um, I'm not really dancing the aisles over that. I'm going to highlight it again and I can go into my font color and I can choose something a little different. So I'm going to click on this again and I might go for a darker hue. See how all these hues are over here? This might make more sense for me. That's much better. I like that. So 
Next, what I'm going to show you is how to go about changing this picture and how to add uh, media, videos into here. So that's the lesson coming up next.